hello everyone my name is saksham dikshit and this is my channel pentis diaries so today i'll make another video in the same series of knowledge share and in this video i'll try to cover the concept and this is not nothing like uh, knowledge share this is the type of road map which i just want to share with you uh, so this is the first time i'm sharing such type of video where i'm just sharing the road map of the blockchain security so how exactly if anyone is just want to work in a blockchain what are the things the person have to do it and uh, how to get it start from the scratch itself what are the things required for it even uh, i have created a tutorial i think uh, blockchain based on it i think near around 38 lectures i have built it and already published on my channel so that is also one of the thing which you can use it just to know the solidity from the scratch other than that uh, in later phase itself i'm planning to make a content on blockchain more on it like uh, including a audit and related to the security itself whatever what text possible uh, in case of solidity in blockchain so in ethereum mainly i'll just try to make the content on it so those things are coming in later phase itself so this is one of the road map which i just provided to you with a reference link even i'll provide couple of uh, books name also so that the persons can able to understand okay these are the things is required over there itself so instead of just going with a scratch and having no idea about it couple of guys are going to multiple forum just to get the information then they're trying to learn something from some somewhere else even i did that at the initial phase when i'm just trying to learn that thing but later phase itself when i'm seeing the tutorials for multiple guys i'm realizing it like uh, these are this is the appropriate content and the reference always be the documentation which is provided for the programming language make sure you should have a habit to see the documentation of any programming language when you are learning that programming language from the scratch make sure that you have a habit to learn that and tutorial you can see it or whatever the activity you are you will just if you are interested quite just to see the tutorial of anyone you can go with that but make sure that the source will be reliable you will learn the appropriate stuffs not like you are getting something you are learning something which is not appropriate so make sure the source will be reliable going further with the road map of the blockchain security what are the things we required so if we talking about like what exactly be so there are two things we just we, we just have to talk about it it's a blockchain technology and the cyber security and combinedly we can say that our blockchain security can work so this is both the things will be uh, required over there itself like if you don't have the knowledge of the cyber security then in that case it's not at all be if you start learning the blockchain you required the cyber security knowledge be in place then only you can able to correlate better and even at the time of writing the secure code you can able to understand what is the possibility and what type of vulnerabilities be categorized whatever attack can be get conducted and how you can make a secure smart contract that was the reason behind a cyber security is also one of the core thing which is required every professional who is working in this field and wherever the security is get indicated make sure you have at least a basic level understanding of the cyber security going further with that understanding uh understand the blockchain basics itself so the fundamental is one of the thing and cryptographic principles also one of the thing so blockchain fundamentals learn what blockchain is like you just have to understand what is blockchain then you have to understand the component which is coming under that like a blocks transactions consensus mechanisms this is uh, these are the core things which you have to aware about it along with that uh, proof of concepts proof of stake and this uh, and the final thing is a smart contract which we all the time like at the time when if you have go through uh, the tutorial which i have created for the solidity in that a uh, lot of ways itself i just told you like how to make a secure smart contract what are the things you have to use it which thing you have to avoid it uh, by all the ways whatever the best ways uh, which you have to use it to make your secure smart contract that everything is coming under the category of the fundamental so right now in the fundamental i'm not assuming you have to learn everything what is already but the thing is that you should know like what is smart contract what is a block what is a transaction what is a consensus mechanism everything you should know these terms these terms uh, will be get utilized in a later phase itself but if you have a basic understanding having a fundamental is clear in the initial phase it quite easy for you to understand in the later phase itself when you are learning the advanced steps that like these terms are coming continuously in all the ways so make sure you will have to understand these things in the initial phase of your journey of blockchain cryptographic principles is also one of the thing like where you have to understand all the algorithm hashing 
digital signatures these are the core things like in case of hashing there are lot of tutorials are available so make sure you have to understand the hashing why we use hashing uh, what's the requirement of it hashing and digital signature is also one of the thing why we require digital signature why not we are using something else so that's also one of the thing what's the difference between these things so everything try to get it understand in the initial phase that was the reason i'm just telling you like just to make you understand first this is the first step which you have to know the stuff about it so that you can go it further with it when you are utilizing the actual technology at least you understand these stuffs now the resources if you're talking about like okay these are the things you are telling you but like if i'm uh, if anyone asks me like what are the resources where exactly i can get these details so these are the three resources which you can follow it definitely a uh, blockchain basic guide that's one of the thing a uh, bitcoin white paper which is written by santoshi uh, nakamoto and the ethereum white paper also okay this is also owner like i can say that i can say uh, a founder of ethereum in these are the three resources which you can use in the initial phase of it just to understand the blockchain and even the cryptographic uh, algorithm you can able to understand using these resources going further with that blockchain fundamental basically is okay but going further with that uh, what exactly the things coming under the category of the fundamental thing so understand the blockchain technology that's one of the thing like <clears throat> now we are not, not talking about the con stuffs which we have discussed in a basic now we go uh, other than that on the top of it so we are going going to understand the concepts core concepts behind the blockchain technology including a distributed ledger what is a distributed ledger how it is different from the normal ledger itself consensus mechanism which we can do which we already discuss in case of basic also but here we have a real view about it uh, proof of work proof of stake immutability and the smart context sources like immutability why exactly we can say like a smart context are immutable so those are the things is coming under this category of the understanding the blockchain technology when you are able to understand then only you can like you can able to know like how exactly now our smart contracts are immutable and how to secure so these are the things if we're talking about the resources interactive tutorials you can go through is like this these are the official um, portal i can say that for the ec limits which you can utilize it just to learn that from the scratch if you want a book you want a ready-made book to be so blockchain basics one of the book you, which you can use it over here popular blockchains if i'm talking about the popular blockchain so a uh, few popular blockchains are the bitcoin ethereum hyperledger now i can say that uh, polygon solana these are the popular one i can say that which is available in the market itself everyone is working on different different like in case of ethereum you have to code only on solidity in case of uh, solana you can code on rust in bitcoin they have their own language so that is the thing you have to learn about thing then you can make it the stuff's working for you so that is a popular blockchain which is available in the market itself there are no more of blockchain i'm not saying these are the only these are the popular one but other blockchains are also available in the market and in future aspects definitely you have to learn more things about it so make sure if you have the clear concepts behind it then in that case definitely you can utilize your skills in any blockchain whatever the language they are using it language is not at all be a barrier for you you can learn the language you can code it very well if you have the actual understanding on the concepts you can make it a code in any language so learning a blockchain <coughs> security concepts so security challenge what are the security challenges coming under the category definitely a security attacks talking about the 51 attack double spending attack like 51 attack is one of the attack i can like i'm just giving some idea about it 51 attack is the attack where we have multiple nodes and out of taking example 100 nodes 51 nodes it's get it consumed or i can say that uh, hijacked by attacker then in that case we can consider as a 51 attack where the attacker having a control on 51 nodes instead of uh, the rest of the node having a less visible like 49 nodes are not having control 51 if they have the majority of the control on the node section for it then in that case definitely the attack will be a 51 attack double spending attack is a different type of attack where we are just forcing the smart context to make it vulnerable and where we are spending double of that whatever the charges over there itself we're just trying to manipulate the content and try to make that more spending on it that is coming under that category so these there are n number of vulnerabilities available in a market which we can say that related to the smart contract couple of tweak over there itself i'll definitely try to make the content on in later phase itself when i'm uh working making a content on the audit section definitely these are the things that are coming under that category i have that content i have to shoot that content only going further with that Mm, now the secure development practices so what are the secure practice like 
making the smart contract is one of the thing but make it secure itself and uh, what type of steps we have to take it to make it secure definitely a code auditing is one of the thing which we have to do it like reviewing the code from the not with the desk even i can uh, from the sas itself we have to go with that manual auditing also for the code so that we can make that secure by all the test cases we have to prepare and then we have to test it whether these are the possibilities whether our code is secure or not and testing and deployment strategies we have to be get a defined appropriate for it so that's coming under the category of a secure development practice where we have to understand the best practice for the secure blockchain development including a coding auditing testing and the deployment strategies these are the things coming under the category going further if we're talking about the resources definitely it's a blockchain security challenges which you can get it very easily a smart contract security best practices you can get it very easy so these are the things which you can search it on internet you can get it very easy so these are the resources you have to be take like you have to take as a reference itself just to learn these concept of secure coding or uh, talking about the security con uh, vulnerabilities about it how to get it hacked how to get it prevent everything is getting covered under the section for it now we're talking about the cryptographic fundamentals so what exactly it's coming under that so we have a couple of resources like online resources we have it a coursera based course we have it if we're talking about the books a lot of books are available over there so like cryptography engineering design principles and the practical application is already be there itself impact on the blockchain security learn how cryptographic primitive are used to ensure data integrity user authentication and the secure communication in a blockchain network that's coming under the category of the impact on the blockchain security and in case if you're talking about the cryptographic basics definitely a developer foundation understanding of the cryptographic concepts like hashing digital signatures public key cryptography and these are the things it required when you're going further with that like uh, i can say in case of blockchain everything is like hashing is having a bigger role over there so if you don't having a clear understanding on it definitely you can't work in a blockchain in for a longer time so just to mug up the stuff not the thing like you required you should know the hashing concept clearly then only you can utilize it very well so these are the things which you have to take care in case of cryptographic fundamentals i have not make it the whole content so far from my side but i'm trying to make the uh, content now as per the roadmap i'll try to make the content so that everyone can correlate the stuff with the roadmap and they can start learning it so already the content is already be available on my youtube channel in the playlist playlist you can go through it it's a 38 lectures i have already created that rest all the stuffs i'll try to make it even in case of audit i'll try to make the content even in case of whatever what text is over there itself we'll try that thing also to make a smart contracts vulnerable and then how to hack it we'll try all the possibilities now explore the blockchain platform and the tools itself so to get it experience hands on experience set up a blockchain node bitcoin ethereum locally on a test network uh, then you can test it itself so even like using um, i can say there are a couple of wallets you can get a deploy make it a smart content then try to in case of ethereum only try to get it deployed whatever the things you try to get it experience or try to do the transactions receive the transaction ethereum itself you can do it very easily use deployment tool familiarize itself like we can use a remix id like in case of testing itself a remix id we can use it we can make a smart contract for the scotch and we can we can deploy it also and get it utilized in somewhere else itself so that we can do it very easily and tougher is also one of the platform which you can use it very easily and you can debug also over there and if the code is not appropriately working if you're getting some error definitely session will be provided to you in case of remix id and that you can get it sorted out either with a co-pilot co which is getting integrated over there itself couple of cases they have a gpt3 uh, gpt3 also they have used over there just to solve the problem so that's one of the recommendation over there itself so remix id couple of cases i have used it in case of solidity code when i have making the content i have make it only on that remix id and later phase which you want to get it deployed you can use that same thing get it deployed on the blockchain use that same key i can say that same address you can use it in wherever you want to get it utilize it get it integrated you can do it very easily now for the resources you simply have to use a bitcoin development guide developer guide now the ethereum development documentation is also one of the resource for you can able to understand with that so ethereum developer documentation is a bit clear like you have to go to the documentation which they have already freely available and even in case of bitcoin also <coughs> developer guide is already available <coughs> going further with that study blockchain security framework so we're talking about the framework like security is okay but how to understand uh, what type of 
framework we have to use it so talking about the security standards we have to uh, full like we have to be make the code based on the OS blockchain security top 10 the NIST blockchain security guidelines these are the things which we have to get it follow all the time so that we can make a smart contract bit secure as comparison if we have just make it a smart contract without follow any guidelines then definitely the smart contracts will be maybe vulnerable and there is no guidance over there so definitely you have to use a proper guidelines over to make your smart content bit secure these are the reference point for it was top 10 you have to use for the blockchain even a list also you can use it now talking about the risk assessment understand how to perform a risk assessment specific to blockchain application and network that's also one of the thing like risk identification of the risk assessment is also one of the thing which you have to get it perform uh, either a quarterly basis or um, half yearly basis or yearly basis it depends on uh, how much critical that application we are utilizing it and on the basis of that you have to perform the risk assessment on it that's also one of the things which you have to be taking care of it resources i've already discussed about it that you have to use, utilize it nist and the was now going further with that explore a smart contract security so security audit and smart contract basics these are the two things which you have to be understand it to make explore smart contract security when you're making a smart contract appropriately with the proper guidance and even uh, whatever the standards have been in the market you are using that standard appropriately definitely your smart contract is bit secure and going for the security audit just to validate whether that is secured or not with all the test cases which you can get it conducted on your smart contract against the smart contract you can use that there are a couple of resources i can say that open zipline you can use it where you can see like couple of smart contracts already available you can use the concept you can use the smart contract directly to be get integrated with your existing smart contract you use the functionality of it and then the smart contract best practices also one of the resource which you can use it and even the documentation of the solidity is also one of the resource i can say that documentation is one of the things through which you can able to understand the basics of the smart contract how to write the smart contract from the scratch going further with the smart contract security how to get it done so definitely one of the resources i can say there are solidity is one of the thing by which you can able to understand with the for the solidity smart contract vulnerability to be get identified there are a number of vulnerabilities have been like a uh, retency attack i can say the integer overflow access control issues these are the type of vulnerabilities available in a smart contract if you are not making that appropriate smart contract not a appropriate code these vulnerability may be exist over there in your code definitely you just have to be follow those standards those framework appropriately in place so that you will avoid such type of vulnerability to be get it present in your smart contract going further with that if i'll talk about stay updated and the practice continuously so stay updated like you have to be a part of multiple forums so that you can uh, you can get the information about the latest thread in every market what is the best uh, practice right now living in a market on the basis of that you will try to make your code you can secure your application you can secure a smart contract wherever you're trying to get a deployed if you're working for a financial institution make sure it should be go for the audit appropriately uh, as per the frequency itself whatever you have defined as per your organization sop you can go for it other than that make sure you have your knowledge skills to be up to date so that you can know like what exactly be the code is what exactly the motive of the code and what you're looking for it so make sure if anything known vulnerability get introduced in the market or a zero data will be get introduced in the market make sure you should be aware about it and then only you can overcome that problem which may get happen if that un um, i can say the unsecured code is you can utilize in a smart contract and any attacker can get it utilize that and maybe in couple of cases a person can sow a lot of money out of it using that vulnerable smart contract so security tools are the practices like static code analysis tool we can use it for it blockchain security audit is also one of the thing and best practice for secure or smart content development itself also one of the things so security tools if you practice i can say that these are the things coming under the category where you can learn about it best practices you can follow it with these ways now hands-on project and the practical application build the projects from the scratch as per your uh, as per your requirement for the simulation attacks to understand the security security implication itself that's also like the example you can make a smart contract but to get it test whether it's vulnerable or not you can test it with a multiple ways to simulate that similar uh, type of um, i can say that smart contract make it vulnerable and then try to simulate the attack on it so that's also another thing which we can see coming under the category of the hands-on project 
going further with the ctf is also one of the thing where you can try your hands on experience you can try your experience to be on a ctf itself just to get ready you get the flag out of it itself so that's also one of the best way couple of um, couple of pen testers security professional they are going for the ctf just to get know about couple of uh, different type of innovative way just to learn the stuff out of it now we're talking about the resources hackathon ctfs are one other thing which you can go for it ether capture the ether is also one of the cities known it um cities which are available in a market uh, whenever they will conduct that go for it and uh, explore this field also by that way you can learn a lot like i'm not saying that you have to get it secure a first thing but the thing is at least you can get the exposure when you're working in that environment you are trying a lot from your side just to know a lot of things which you're not aware about it at the time before going for it now continuous learning ongoing itself we have already discussed about it those are the best stuff which you can use it just to make you updated and you can use it later phase itself also wherever it required so if you are up to date so definitely auditor will ask you and you can give the appropriate answer if you're not aware about it definitely you can't give the answer to the auditor appropriately and even in couple of cases your code is secure but the thing is that you're not able to give the answer to the auditor appropriately definitely they will uh, they will follow the comp or i can say that uh, unattempted or the control is not appropriately in place that type of thing the command you are getting it from the auditor to overcome that problem definitely you should know the things very well i'm not saying that everyone should know the solidity from the scratch but at least you should have an understanding on it what actually the functionality of it and how exactly the things will going on with it solidity that thing i'm looking for it the person should know it very well even i'm not aware about all the stuff but at least i'm having a basic understanding of a couple of things so that at any point of time if anyone asks me about it when i'm handling anything and anyone ask you anything about it so at least you have uh, answer for those questions when the person is asking to you you can't say in that that i am no i'm not aware about it. i'm not having the expertise in this field no one is looking for the expertise in that field itself now additional tips which we have to be taking here and that's a cool stuff <coughs> security is an ongoing process so make sure when you are learning something new as per that uh, learning itself try to make that stuff secure smart contracts secure don't be afraid to ask question itself that's most important like uh, most of the persons learning something but if they are not able to understand they are not asking the question make sure that you have to ask couple of questions go searching on multiple forums still you are not able to understand go at further on the forums where the persons are asking question and they are giving answers also make sure you will paste the question post your question from your side asking these are the things i am not able to understand how to get it solved that and start with the free resources so that's one of the like free resources i can say that couple of uh, channels youtube channels they have prepared the content on it so you can go through with uh, go through those channel and get the information about it and even with the documentation which is already ready available go through the documentation get the information about the ethereum solidity even in rust even in case of solana these are the forms are already have been they have their own documentation you can go through it learn that from the scratch itself so that's all about this stuff i just want to get it covered in this video i hope you are able to understand the road map of the blockchain security how exactly if you are not um, having any understanding on the blockchain how you start learning the blockchain what are the key stuffs you required it just to know that and then what exactly the steps you have to take it to reach to that level where you can call you as a auditor smart contract auditor or whatever is it so these are the things is coming by that way itself so that was the reason i have just call it this uh, video as a road map for the blockchain security so that you can able to understand how you have to go from step 1 to the step 2 step 3 step 4 what are the steps you have taken and reach to that level where you can call it you as a security professional in blockchain okay so i hope you hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you so much once again take care bye bye